Hey guys, welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So today I want to go over leveraging your LinkedIn profile. And uh, I, ha I have another link. I have multiple LinkedIn profiles. I'm going to give you, I'm going to share one of them. We're going to go over it. I'm going to do some tips and tricks for LinkedIn. And then I'm going to show you like, you have to email people and do things. Sometimes you have to find out more information about a company. So we're going to go over a bunch of little things here and there for LinkedIn. And it should be fun and it should be interesting for everyone. All right. So let me share my screen. Screen two, uh, share. Yep. So here's a here's my LinkedIn profile. I only have one connection, literally, which is myself, right? And um, sometimes people ask me like, when you when you set up LinkedIn for the first time, like, what's important for a LinkedIn profile? You want to have like, at least some stuff set up on LinkedIn. You don't want to have you want to have absolutely nothing. You want to have stuff set up. So a great example of this is Mike Miller. So like Mike Miller, I follow him. I'm friends with him. He also has top voice. He has over 110 followers. And this is contact information. This is his banner. So this is Visa So Mentor Speaker, free career advice, Mike Miller. And he has this really nice banner here, right? And you guys are probably going to ask me about all this information. Oh, where can you get this? Where can you get this? Where can you get that? I'm going to go over that today. So don't worry. And then he has a professional picture right here. So this is his picture. Looks Really good, professional. Um, and there's other people that I, I love following. I follow him. I love following Will. Was another one to Top Voice. Top Voice of Cybersecurity. I love following Jonas A. Santos as well. 95,000 followers. This is his back. He has his, his, his Twitter, Instagram, YouTube there because he does have a YouTube channel. I love following David Meese as well. He has a picture of Packet because he is part of Packet and he has a book that he's selling right now. I like following Naomi as well. She was the speaker for Sands. So there are so many people on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is so big and you can talk to people on LinkedIn and, and sometimes you never know who's watching, right? Which is why it's important that we don't fight anyone. We don't, you know, get into arguments with people. LinkedIn is not Facebook. Just remember that. And we try to be politically correct over here. You know, we don't want to fight anybody. We don't have any battles or anything. Just just be professional with everything, right? Another one, Gerald from Simply Cyber. It's all stuff right here. This is a banner. So see banners here, professional picture here. So what what would I, what will you do? Or what would what would I recommend if you're brand new? So Let's go to my profile real quick. So we're gonna hit the LinkedIn top right here. We're gonna go to me, go to review profile. And by the way, this is my middle name. This is my actual middle name, by the way. Um, it says director of technical training at Captech IT support. So that's this is my second profile. Um Captech IT support. I this is director of Captech IT support. It's, I just put like a random job here, but it's actually my company, CaptechIT support.com. So what you want to do is basically you want to first update your picture. So use camera, allow. It's not going to work right now because it's not, but you could get a camera, get like your phone, you could do like a little picture of your little selfie of yourself and then you should be good to go. Make sure it's not a picture of you like drinking tequila or you're in a party or whatever. Make sure it's like super professional. If you need, if you need like a free headshot person, um, let me see, let me see here. So... So this one is free headshot for vet military veterans. So request an appointment, portfolio quality images. Um, this is for military veterans. So if you want a free headshot, you could get a free headshot. If you're not a veteran, I just it just get your phone, take a picture like this, put it on your face, get a suit and a tie, and go just go to the white wall over here somewhere. Like I have a white wall over here. Put the light in this angle over here, and just take a picture, and that's it. And then you can post it. Well, obviously, keep a professional suit and a tie. Put something professional, right? So now, let's talk about the banner. The banner is this banner's pretty bad. Like, there's absolutely nothing here, right? So now, let's talk about the banner now. So banner, you go to Canva. If you go to Canva, you go to Canva right here. And just start designing and then continue. And, well, it's going to ask me to log in, right? So I can't really do anything unless I actually log in. But Canva is a great resource to get a banner for free. So you don't got to kill yourself. You get a banner for free on Canva. 
Let me see if I can log in on my other browser because the other browser, I think I believe I'm logged in already. So So let's see if I can log into this one to show you, just to show you, because you guys are probably wondering about it. Um, it's trying to sign me in right now. Just give me a second. All right. So with Canva, I'm logged in right now in the other browser. With Canva, you could you could put a, a LinkedIn banner free. Then you go up here. And then here is banner templates. You can go here. You can just start looking for templates. Like this is, some of these are free. Some of these are not free. Like this, I believe this one is free. Yeah, this is free. Uh, I got another one, like, I don't know, like, could be any of these, right? Like you get, you get this one. This is, looks kind of cool, actually. And it's free. It's a, it's a phone that you get customized. And then here, you can just change this. You could change. You could leave this alone here, and then this. You could just delete this. And then here, you could just put Kevin. You could edit it and just put. And then here, here, if you want to add more more of a text, you can like. You could create more stuff here, write more stuff on. It's entirely up to you. So I'll go here and, and then put uh add a text box and then put um uh career advice, career advice, tech trainer, um career advice, tech trainer, um LinkedIn, LinkedIn influencer. Or you do uh coaching, coach, coaching. And you can just put this here. You can drag it. Like you could literally grab this. And then you can make this a lot smaller, right? Then you could put it over here somewhere. So and it looks it looks like that, right? And your name is there. You can put a picture of yourself here if you like to. It's entirely up to you. could just remove this two all together and you could just literally put this here, make this a lot bigger, like so. Uh, content creator. You just change the size of it. And here you could put a, a cure in the bottom left. You could put a picture. So like if you want, if you want, like I have pictures here. I could literally grab one of my pictures. That has my friend here from, I could literally grab this picture and then throw it in here. And then Make this a little bit bigger so people know who I am, but not too big. And then after that, once that's done, all changes are saved. I could hit uh, I, I should be able to download it. So there should be a download button around here somewhere. All right, there, download. You should be able to download it and hit download. And then it should look like this. See, you could change that. You could change this background, but just showing, just giving you like a hypothetical one, right? I'm going to close out of this, close out of this, close out of this. But yeah, you want to change this back banner right here. And then you hit the edit button right here. If your first name, last name. You can put him, him, he, him, if you like. Um, you could put your headline right here. And like, I like, I like to look at other people because it gives you a rough idea of what to write. Like, for example, like he's desktop support. We go to all. Um, you go back. I'm just gonna refresh this real quick. 
and it's a picture of me. Um, her. She says senior sales development. It's whatever you're trying to do. Obviously, you would have put IT support, help desk, desktop support. Um, and I'm going to go back to mine. And here, so here you edit all of that, right? This is done. Your zip code, everything. I, mean, I'll, I don't really, I just like a fake one. I don't live here anymore. I used to live in that area. I don't live there anymore. Um, this is private use. So they don't see this. You see it. So it says here, add, add your industry work, add a photo. It tells you what, like, really what to do here. Like, add a university, add your skills, add a summary about yourself. And then what I would do is I'll go to... I'll go to ChatGBT, right? Which is ChatGBT. LinkedIn summary for me. Passionate and results driven, professional with strong background, and blah, blah, blah. To drive innovation, achieve business, with blank numbers of experience, years of blah, 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 blah. No, for my analytical mindset, blah, blah, blah. I sell and building. So it's just an example, right? So you could go to ChatGBT and make one. Uh, you put summary of. Uh, LinkedIn profile and help desk. Let's just see what happens when I do that. Help desk specialist with number of years of, look at that, see? So you just play around with this, but just to give you an idea. And then here is the resources here. Here you could turn on certain things. Like if you do show of resources, this is not, nothing's on right now, but you create a post. You have the ability to you have the ability to save to PDF, build a resume, add about other section right here. You can edit your your LinkedIn URL, or like your actual LinkedIn URL. You can edit it over here entirely up to you. And then this stuff is visible to you, and you create a badge as well. Um, obviously, add your work experience down here. This don't have anything here. Um. Yeah, and that's it. And then you you want to add that stuff right here. So, and that's what you put on LinkedIn. Those things are like then once you, I guess once you're done with all this, then you will start looking at jobs. Like if you see a job, like I'll give you an example. Um, just go over like, uh, it's just type help desk in here, right? So. Jessica is hiring. Jessica, let me look at her profile real quick. She's from New York. I'm from New York. Okay, she's hiring. And she's providing services as well. And she's hiring. Okay, cool. So, like, if you if you can, like, you could connect. And then you should be able to add a note. Like, I would add a note to it if you're adding someone for a job. And you say, hi, Jessica. I see a, uh, I see a job. Oh, I see a job opening for I for help desk. I have experience with working on Active Directory and Office three sixty five, and I can I please send you a copy of my resume. Hope you are doing well happy monday you send it right my head cancel Should I get out of it yeah so yeah so you want to do that um now okay this is important for you guys who are listening to me now um in some scenarios you'll see a job you'll see a job and you see a job that you probably like well, you don't know if you're going to like that job or you don't know if you're going to like the work environment, right? So this is another advice for me, for you guys, like a nugget here, which you guys probably know how to do this. You probably will do this or want to do this, depending on the person. If I see a job like, let's just go to this one, help desk services, 25, 30 an hour contract, right? I see this person's hiring. Let me go to a different example. Just an entry level help desk job. All right, th uh, this, is too, this is too much. 
uh, experience level, entry level. All right, cool. Awesome. All right. So if I see a job, it's bilingual Spanish. It's funny. It's bilingual Spanish. Let's speak Spanish. Um, personal computer specialist. Okay. She's hiring for this job. Two years in that two years of experience. You could learn VMware by getting it for free online. Actually, you get a trial for VMware. All this stuff you could learn. I've gone over this before. You could learn all this stuff on your own. So let me just look for another one that's a little more relatable. Uh let's see here. It's problem solving, teamwork. Like this is this is stuff that you 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 would know how to do if you work in a restaurant. You know about team building, teamwork. Problem solving, you always have problem solving when you work in a restaurant, accountability, responsibility. Um, yeah, Windows 10, Office 365. Like this is more relatable to what what you would see in an entry-level job. Fixing stuff, going up and down the stairs, picking up heavy stuff here and there, setting up new hires, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So you see this job. There's no recruiter, there's nothing here. Like, oh man, there's nothing here. Okay. Let's go here. Okay, it's called the Kind the Kindle Group. What what the heck's a Kindle Group? Is this a recruiting firm? Like what is this? Uh, Kindle Group is a, a an employee owned company. A series about your lowest cost, highest versus supply partners or supply partner company. So uh, next thing I'll do, I'll grab this Kindle Group last store. Okay, so what do they have about what do they say about this company excellent employer okay so then you have one star rating five stars for one I should have multiple reviews it may ask me to log in uh yes yeah, ask me to log in all right so seems like an okay company so you want to you want to you want to use you want to make sure that you do research about the company right and also you have ones like um You want you want websites like Fishbowl. So Fishbowl allows you to get more information about that company and that job and that role. So you want to make sure you use an you use a website like Fishbowl. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this, but I recommend using Fishbowl. So Fishbowl is a very interesting one. Um, and then you go into Fishbowl, you get company reviews and stuff like that right so something you want to look at um if that makes sense right so now we have information about the company we know who they are we know the rating blah blah blah, blah. next thing you want to do is if i was you if i was the guy trying to get into it support i'm going to go into people and i want to go to information technology okay so i know these people work in information technology so linkedin member linkedin member linkedin member linkedin member computer science linkedin member let me see if it lets me let me see if it lets me look at that profile so let me look at any of these profiles mm, this is this one so i only have one person's profile i could look at so if I was in this, if I was, this is the director. If I was going into a job, I would email someone that works in that company already that has a job that I have or works in IT and ask them like, how is, how is it like working in that job? How was the manager? How was the team? Um, same thing. If you, if you see a job opening and you see someone that already works a job there, ask them, what's the day in the life in that job? Is it stressful? Is it not stressful? How's the team? How are the managers? Same thing again on LinkedIn. Like if you see someone, like you type here, cybersecurity, and you want to get into cybersecurity, right? You go and change this to people, and you could literally go here and like try to message someone like this guy right here. He seems like an interesting person. Seems like he hasn't been active. He's been active in eleven months ago. So you want to look for someone that has been active, like at least at least like a day ago or something like that, right? So this guy is a one month, right? So you want to make sure you find someone like this guy that has interesting. 
Uh, he's been active 10 months ago. Let me just go show comments. Oh, so post. So like two years ago. So you want to look for someone that has been active. Like here you could filter it out. And here you could put other filters. And this is all filters right here. Um, And then I would just look for someone that has been active on, on, uh, on LinkedIn the past 24 hours. It could be anyone. Like this is LinkedIn members. So I can't see this person. It's this guy. Three months ago. So just find someone that's active. So these people are not active on LinkedIn. Um, and then when you do find someone, like this guy is probably not active either. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't posted it up. When you do find someone that's active, you want to email that person and ask them, like, how did you get into cybersecurity? What's the day in the life of in your job? What certifications do you have? What projects have you worked on? How did you get this job? What did you do to get the job? Same thing. You do a help desk, IT support, system admin. Any of those jobs that you're applying for, try to email people on LinkedIn. Some of them will answer you and some of them will not answer you at all. I'm going to be honest with you. So you may have a yes or a no situation. So try to email people on LinkedIn and see what results you get and see if anyone gets back to you. So yeah, I'm going to stop sharing. So that's it. That's my T-Bet, T -bet information for LinkedIn. Hopefully that helps you out. Um, like I said, if you see a job you like, Email someone that's already in that job and see what's a day in the life in that job. See if you're going to be okay with that job. See if the manager's going to be okay with you. You like that manager, you like that company, et cetera, et cetera. If you see a job that you see that job and you want to do that job or you want to go in, in you want to do the same thing that other person is doing, try to take some information from that person. Can I invite you for a Zoom coffee? Can I pay for a coffee for 10 minutes and then take a call with you on Zoom? Is it okay when we do we have a conversation, like a genuine conversation? I want to get to know you a lot better. So you do that. You could like somebody's post. You could engage in someone's post, build that relationship with that person, then add them and then email them. You could definitely do that. So those relationships are very important. And I want to and I want to share one more thing with you before I let you go. Um and um well, I'll share it in the next video, actually, because it, it, it pertains more to um leveraging your LinkedIn with, with networking. All right, later guys.